Fuzzy Luzzy Van Life. Hey guys, good morning. It's the uh, day after our second camp out for the Great British Camp out. We've got another night to go tonight. As you can see, the sun is absolutely glorious. Just to reassure you, we are just around the corner from our house. Just taking the dogs going to Juno for a short walk and keeping our full social distance from everyone, of course. Just that you have a look at the scenery for a little bit. It's absolutely stonking today. Just actually coming up over the motorway, and it is, and this is a good thing. Clearly, clearly much quieter than it normally is. Now this is awesome. Clearly people are listening and only essential travel is going on because you can see how quiet the motorway is in both directions. Thank you to all the lorry drivers, delivery people, logistics, everyone keeping everything moving as they need to. Everyone else by doing nothing and staying at home and staying safe and doing a huge amount. Catch you again in a bit. Elliot has spotted a cool field. We're just uh, having a quick look. Beautiful countryside around here. But yes, it is a dry looking field right there. To the castle? Yes, so if you can see there in the distance is Stafford Castle, which we live quite close to. Some great walking just off the doorstep round here. Very lucky. This field's looking a bit more luscious. Very luscious grass. Elliot's just doing his uh, times tables and spellings practice, which is always a good uh, good opportunity on the dog walk. In the rolling countryside, it's all around us. Great British camp out that night we also got to chill out and enjoy for the first time but definitely not the last Tom Dib live. If you're things like me I'm 
just a boy and I struggle to see Oh now where to move next when we're chest to chest As good as this feels for now it's not the best And I'm sorry for the pain as I lose control I'm sorry for the hurt that consumes our souls It's not through like a love, no love for anyone else It's just that I'm broken and I'm fixing myself I need to spread a wing, I need to soar The path I was leading It was then time to get our heads down for another night of the Great British Camp Out As we all dreamed some magical Easter visitors seemed to be planning a visit. Daddy can pick me up. But it's not giant Easter egg. No, that's fine. That'll be easy for mommy and daddy. We some chocolate and a chill out and thought what else might need doing on the van. Morning all. Today, we're staying at home. We're going to give Mando a bit of a clean. So just just to show you the, the before yeah. shots, loads of uh, mud and such up the side of the van. So we're going to give him a good wash and hopefully he'll be looking better. I didn't want to know what it sounds like when it goes under the water. Up. Dad, listen. Okay, Elliot, so what, where are we now then? What are we up to? So we're about to shampoo and wax the van. As you can see, it looks a bit clean though. Now, because we've thrown water all over it. Giving it a rinse. Yeah. So now it's time for a bit of air. It, yeah, as you can see over here, the first one, see little bubbles. So what's in the bucket then? So in here, this one, we have shampoo and wax. Cool. It's this. Okay, bit of bit of product shown. No sponsorship, of course. This is a uh, Simon Simonis Simonis shampoo and wax. It's Simonis Simonis. 
Let's have some of this. So, let's give it a go. The ladders are out because Yay! neither Laura nor I are eight foot tall, so we can't reach the top of the van. Bubble! Bubble! Oh my, no! Mando is lovely and shiny. Just taking the wheels for a very quick spin. Uh, red somewhere, not sure if it's true. But you're supposed to just uh, just give the car a bit of a drive afterwards, just to make sure the brakes and everything get the uh, moisture off. So literally just a couple of minutes. seems to have done the trick. I'll give you a finished uh, pick in a minute. The sun is shining so I think a bit of lunch in the garden. Just hang out together today. We're running low on a few provisions. The next day it's time to venture out for some essentials. Just en route for some essential shopping because none of the shops have any bread flour. So we've managed to source some. But you may be able to see from out the window I'm going down an incredibly bumpy farm track. But thankfully the van has a good elevated uh, suspension so we should be alright. So hopefully we can pick up some bread flour so we can have some bread and pizza dough. It's all good. A nice sunny drive in day as well. Excuse my concentration, it is incredibly bumpy along here. Fantastic, and the kind uh, farmer has also opened the gate for me so I can turn around. So. Thank you, bye. So we have some bread flour, make bread again, and have some pizza. And it is genuinely nice, but essential, to head out for a bit in the van, see a bit of sunshine from a driver's seat, so we certainly haven't been doing much of that lately. So another day in the life of van life lockdown. Been working at home today, as has Laura. I know many are juggling a lot of things and people doing far more challenging things than we are at the moment so thank you to everyone for your part stay safe evening guys tonight we're going to enjoy a gig we're not going anywhere we're going to be live streaming in the van so we'll catch you in a bit hopefully a bit of live tunes will be coming our way and maybe a tasty beverage or two
Thursday night rolled around. It was time to get ready for the clap for carers and also saying thank you to all key workers and everybody keeping people safe, well and supported. And also it meant it was Thursday Night Live with Tom Dibb, who we discovered at the Great British Camp Out. <laughs> Great to be part of the applause across our street and hear the thanks echoing across the whole neighbourhood. We've been hugely lucky to be able to share our thanks, enjoy our van life together still, and hugely thankful also for the simple things, walks on our doorsteps and nature in the garden.
It's been great to be part of the Great British Camp Out as part of our lockdown van life. We've really enjoyed it. It's been a great cause and would definitely encourage everyone else to take part if you can. The sun is shining. Elliot showing off his very low, very cosy onesie, What's which he enjoyed last night. Otto's just over there in the corner. Hello. Always enjoying some tasty breakfast too. So we're just going to enjoy a lovely cup of tea. Cheers. Still looking fresh, and always enjoying a nice, uh, fresh mint cup of tea there. Otto's just making himself a brew. Elliot is enjoying himself up in the pop top. Juno is just down here. Some tasty beans cooking on the hob as well. It's getting cosy on the awesome bed and we're gonna watch the Goonies. You ready guys? Yeah! Good morning from Laura and Elliot. Hi Elliot. Good morning Otto. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Fuzzy Luzzy Van Life.